But yeah, we're going to move into uh, the this game here. It was written by, it was created by Pixel Jam Studios. Like I said, they helped do Nova Drift and they did uh, Utopia Must Fall, another game I did a while ago. And um, this one's like very, very like, this one's another very, very like old arcadey feeling game. Maybe even more so than Utopia Must Fall did because this is more like, uh, there, there's games that I've played like this that were kind of like, this off angle kind of like vector where it's like it's like it's like on, it's like on a triangle board because like the perspective is like the further out you go like the the smaller everything looks so it's um done in that kind of vibe again a lot of uh, line art a lot of vector art but uh for this game i'm probably not going to play it as long because grid ranger is pretty straightforward um let me go ahead and get the game started up. And it is done in the same engine that they did um, uh, Utopia Must Fall in. So it's done this V99 uh, engine that they made. And it does have this tendency to stop moving when it's tabbed out. So. Oh, what the hell? Let me do one thing in Twitch here real quick. I would just want to hit a... This will make it easier for me to pull the uh, the VOD later. All right. Okay, so first off, I want to say thank you to Pixel Jam for uh, sending me a key. Uh, and this game right here, it's like Grid Ranger is a very straightforward game. It's, um, it's, it's kind of like the neon grid game um, and it's a it's a one-handed game it is a one-handed game so literally all you need is the mouse and to hold one one of the other buttons I have played it a couple times which is why there's like a one and two here um, normally there's just a start button here but if you beat the first boss you get like the ability to start at the next one which I think is a huge quality of life feature um, basic stuff here, very basic stuff, on how to adjust the colors and everything. But basically, what Grid Ranger is, you control a little diamond-shaped ship, uh, you shoot stuff, you try to beat the boss, repeat, and get to the end. It's a very, what they even said, it's a game that you don't even have to play that long. Like, they designed this game to be played just like a few minutes at a time, like, you know, 30 minutes or so. This is a lunch break game. So right now I don't have anything to shoot, but as you get further along, you start getting these purple things that you're supposed to shoot and you collect uh, these coins or whatever. And then you get these bosses, they show up and they kind of taunt you and say stuff like you will not escape and I will, I will own your soul and stuff like that. So, the red ones are enemies, if you get hit, you lose your life. Now you start off with three lives. I cannot not be destroyed. And he's like, I, I cannot be destroyed. So yeah, when you um when you hit the the side of things, like you lose a life. And the the goal is to try not to die. <laughs> so right there I took the hit, so I've only got two hits left. What the hell is she doing? That's weird, the boss was up there, but... And... Take too many hits and that happens. And it's a very short, very, very straightforward. Now you can play up here if you want to, or you can play in the back here, so you can kind of just like... Move around how you want. A lot of this stuff is not destructible, so you have to be careful. So like all these things I'm shooting are just kind of like wobbling, so they're not destructible. You will not escape, Marie. 
Yeah, the, the bosses have the same smack talk every time, so first time you run into them, they have the same smack talk every single time. The lines never change. Sometimes I don't know what they're saying, so... Yeah, you just kind of like go back and forth, you can move, but you know, you can, you can move in all four directions. So it makes it so... it's not quite 3D, but you can kind of move around. And like play up further up front or hang back. This is the slow spot. I, I call it the slow move. So yeah, if you do collect 30, um, you can get more than hit, hit health points you started with, the more lives you started with. So it is possible to you know get five or six lives if you're lucky. This is actually a game that's made for lower sense and I'm playing on. Could be hit there, I didn't mean to. Like, if you play a low sense, like 400 DPI, you probably do better. I got the life back, so I'm up to 3 again. I hit one of the bullets still behind me. <laughs> now this game is on Steam. It's like $2.99. It's a very cheap game. Um, so, I said for what it is, that is actually pretty. It's really entertaining for you know like a, a game that's all on like one board. Yeet. Yeah. It's a pretty entertaining game. It's pretty fast. Like, I, I don't recommend playing it for a long period of time if you have, like, motion sickness or, like, this kind of pers perspective bothers you. Because it, it does give a little bit of a headache sometimes. Like, I, I played it for, like, a, an hour and a half straight just to see what would happen. And, and yeah, I got, a, I got a headache from playing it that long because it's just the way this looks. The neon kind of bothers me. The neon bothered me more than anything else did. Like I like playing these neon subgrade games, but like they I think this biggest problem is just like the uh, the color scheme just messes with me personally over time. So I, it can mess with you if you're not careful. And the music's pretty nice, too. And it's a very straightforward song. But... And it's, it's, a fun, it's a fun game. And it's definitely not, like, for everyone thing. Like, if you if you ever played games like this before, like, it'll definitely feel like a little bit of a nostalgia thing by, you know, sitting in this sit in those smoke-filled freaking ar arcades. Back when being a 10-year-old kid, 
you didn't have to worry about the guy, the, the funky old guy sitting at the, uh, the arcade machine. You didn't have to worry about them so much grabbing you and doing something stupid. Most of those guys are just there to play the video games too. Like, they couldn't get away with arcades anymore. Like, an arcade, like, the way that we used to play back in the day, like, you couldn't get, you couldn't, like, run an arcade like that anymore. One, you couldn't smoke in them. Two, um, everybody would be, you know, like, on pedal Like they would, like there'd be so many people just be constantly like just sitting there staring at every single dude that'd be in there that'd be playing these games. And I totally hit the wall there and I didn't mean to. on number two because that's where I stopped. This is like stage two because I beat the first boss. So let's see if I can uh Shurikens of Doom. Ah. <laughs> uh, I may only go a half hour with this because uh, Grid Ranger, like, it's, it's a good game, but there's really not a whole lot to it. Like, you guys have already seen everything, except for me beating the second stage or me beating a boss. But. Yeah, this is a very small game in that respect, so there's not, there's not a whole lot to it other than what you're seeing right now. Like I said, it is one of those games you can kind of just zen out with play for a few minutes. And... There is only darkness beyond the grid. I'm about to get rocked on there. Let's see if I can pick up my gems. I will eat your soul. I will eat your soul. <laughs> That's gotta be my favorite one when he comes in. He's like, I will eat your soul. <laughs> I'm curious about something. I put the HUD on max. I want to see what happens if I change that. Dude, I'm trying to tron my way through this and it's not working. There is only darkness beyond the grid. <laughs> One of these days I'm going to have to ask them what these bosses are saying. I will eat your 
points. Here, give me. Ow! Damn! <laughs> it's actually kind of hard. Yeah, I think I only got like a half an hour on this, guys. This is actually hard, like I'm, I'm like, I'm like having a hard time keeping up with it today. I did a lot better last time, but I actually got up to the boss on this, on this second one. I just didn't beat him. Right there. It's only having a couple of chances to get hit though it really like that's you. That's why people used to say old arcade games are hard because of stuff like that. Maybe like I hit the wall again. I said, I kind of sense like I play on right now, like, is actually a liability in this game. It really is. Trying to be slick there. Didn't work. I will eat your soul.
Let's see if I can get the three at least before my half hour is up here. Star thing here is kind of random too. Like a couple times you get like three waves and something's gonna be one. Waste some of the glow. Okay, so if the glow bothers you, putting it on cheap is e putting on cheap quality is better for you. All right.
Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> ah. I had him. I think this is my biggest problem. If I play another game and then I play this, I have a hard time seeing. Just because of how it is, like... If there's any knock I can give Pixel Jam for this one, it's just that... It's got like a slight amount of, like, motion sickness vibes to it this way. Damn, I'm hitting everything now. Okay, we got I'll put like one more into it. Let's see if we can do it. Let's go. Okay, the boss is invisible. <laughs> Whoa, what the flip? Wow, okay. So yeah, I know that was kind of short, guys, but you know, this particular game does need a whole lot of demo. As you guys see, it's pretty straightforward. But, ooh. Excuse me, sorry. I'm not yawning because I'm tired or anything. It's just, I think my, my eyes are like, But yeah, sorry about the uh, the the audio stopping again. I tapped out. <laughs> so, but yeah, if you do want to pick it up, like I said, it's, it's Grid Ranger. I put the link up in the um, in Twitch and in Discord. You guys get some more information on it. And like I say, you can pick it up on Steam. The link that's showing there is uh, Pixel Jam's actual itch page so if you guys do decide you want to pick it up somewhere besides steam they do have they do have a non uh, drm version of it you can download you just have to buy it from the child uh, yeah Oof. sorry i know that's gonna show up in the box but yeah like i say this pixel jam game so pixel jam is pretty good about making some you know pretty awesome games they're publishing some pretty awesome games so um yeah, like I said, this is definitely what they call a coffee break game. But 